So, Mr. Gibson, what do you think of the recent developments in the Middle East? Well, it all started when I was a tea boy. Oh, shut up. Doesn't not go too far, otherwise you might pull it off. Was that me did that? Yes. I thought it was you. <laughs> Sorry about that. But you reckon I shouldn't go too far in case of... Pull it off. So that's your opinion then, Mr. Gibson? Yes, don't go too far, but you might pull it off. I see. Well, I'd like to say it's been a pleasure speaking to you, but... What? I can't. can't. So I'll say goodbye. Well, it's nice to be with you again, Mr. Gibson. Uh, glad to see you're in more of a mood to talk to us this time. So, um, you didn't have to answer my question last time about the Middle East, the recent developments, the way things are progressing. Have you any comments upon these matters? Well, Anything to say, you know, to the fact that, obviously, Gorbachev's a bit of a lad, Maggie's a bit of a lass, boy meets girl situation. Yeah. Well, Is I this whole true, do you think, looking back on the history and experience has been told I us? I think so. Or not. So, well, thank you very much, then. It's been interesting to listen to my voice. Goodbye, now. Well. I'd like to say goodbye, but the machine doesn't seem to work. Fade out, please. Where's the fade out? Oh, no, techno fear. What's happening? Quickly, fade out. No, he's getting... Complain about an earthquake or something. Everyone's got an earthquake in Whitby last night. An earthquake, you say? Well, so are there people in Whitby, reckon. Well, there are people in the school, reckon. Have there been any but ideas as to what the cause may have been? Yeah. Ah, thank you. A fisherman. A fisherman oh, exploded. <laughs> yeah, apparently there's been an outbreak of um, exploding fishermen in Whitby. Yeah. They don't seem to know what the cause is. It appears to be something to do with the um, the fish. It would be with fishermen. The, uh, it seems these fish have been swimming off the sea. No, in the sea, off the coast near Sellafield in Cumbria. Yes. And uh, obviously, all the radioactive waste has been dumped into the sea there. They uh, have become radioactive. These fish, and then they've been swimming around coming to the east coast and the Whitby men have been catching them and there's uh, something in the water around Whitby and they react with this water and explode. So it's not actually the fishermen who are exploding. Except when they eat these fish. Mr. Mark Gibson, good night. Today we are privileged to see Mr. Martusi, in action. You may be able to hear the rumblings as he gets himself together for this all-important gig. And yes, yes, I think he's approaching now. Yes, he's there. Note the deft way in which no he cameras, please. removes the outer covering of this small martial amp. And the, the clever use of the bag as he puts it over his head and shoulders, thus ensuring that he cannot breathe. He will now endeavour to plug this amp in, plug his guitar in and start playing before the air runs out or his brain explodes, whichever is the smelliest. Yes, oh. It's already turned on. It was already turned on. Come on, man, I'm not fucking paying people to look after my gear like this. There was a slight rumbling of discontent there. Let me see. Fucking hell, I'm going to speak to fucking Barry about that. This is my special lead. It's got my name printed down the side of it. We find these things most useful. And now he's trying to determine which hole to put it in. As my mum used to say. Indeed. 
Could this be? Are we privileged to hear a riff in the making? A brand new, never heard. Are you guys all right? Hey. There's no asking. You can't see the show tonight. The film crew. Might be able to get a free ticket, though. Cost you some money, though. Yes, and he is showing the uh, the wit for which he is legendary for. Wit and tightness. I've got to find the uh, volume. Now he has to find the volume. It's volume two. I don't want volume two. I want volume one. That's two. That's the one. A bit of bass. Base and the rest of it. Yes, and the first notes. <laughs> I know who plays that, but it's, it's my first love. You can't help it the way you are. As my old man used to say. You died there. <laughs> to have gone. Of a pippish little bat. Oh. Another of his famous impressions. Bruce Fossil. Oh, my last. This is one of our second album. This is one of our third album. Uh, of course, the first song was best. Mm -hmm. 
sleepless nights and dark for jealous fools. And losing sleep over someone like you is kind of foolish too. I hope the life that you lead is the life you want. Loving you will be the greatest thing. Um, they were married, married to one another. Incredible breaks for what you know. Oh, cuticles. This is alright for our psychedelic period. Never is my sight really psychedelic. Of course, Vic has got an idea who lives in Spain. <laughs> Well, that would appear to be the end of this impromptu. Yeah, I'll catch you, Glastonbury, in that.